What's going on guys? Isaiah here again. It has been a while since I made a video about anything really, but uh, I wanted to talk about something that particularly got my attention with the recent fight uh, with Canelo Alvarez and Dimitri Bivol. Uh, in particular, it's the speculation of why Canelo was so gassed in that fight. And you got a lot of people giving up all kinds of reasons, but of course, you know me, I'm a vegan. I see banter and crap talk against veganism. I got to speak up. So <laughs> one of the main things that people are seriously trying to say is one of the reasons that uh, Canelo was so gassed in that fight was his vegan diet. And I find this claim to be absolutely ridiculous. If you know anything about nutrition, you would know that this claim is absolutely ridiculous and unfounded. So you got all these little meatheads and wannabe professional athletes talking about, yeah, it's definitely his vegan diet. And when you ask, you press them for reasons, they can't really give you anything other than to hash out the same old overwhelmingly debunked nonsense about veganism not being nutritionally adequate, which is just ridiculous at this point. It's so unfounded and ridiculous. Um, I don't even know why people keep using this argument. So to debunk that one really fast, you absolutely can get a nutritionally adequate vegan diet, even as a high level athlete. Um, in today's day and age, it has never been easier to get every single nutrient that you need from a plant-based diet. And when you are in somebody's position like Canelo Alvarez, you literally have every single tool at your disposal to make a well tailor made plant based diet that is the best for your performance. I mean, this dude can hire cooks, he can hire uh, nutritionists to plan out his diets. Uh, he can have all kinds of tests done for food sensitivities, for anything that might deter his performance, the whole nine yards. And I mean, you know he's not going to have any trouble getting, I mean, if I don't have trouble getting everything I need as some guy who just lives in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Canelo Alvarez will definitely be able to make a plant-based diet work. The same old tired nonsense about B12 and all this stuff just has no founding. You can supplement B12 um, it is incredibly easy to supplement it at this point. And even the cows that you claim to, to have it in their meat are supplemented with cyanocobalamin B12. So you're just vicariously consuming it anyway. It makes no sense to not supplement B12. Okay. Um, so that claim is completely unfounded. Okay. Um, and really what I have a question for anybody who is perpetuating this complete and utter nonsense is what is it about meat and animal products, meat and dairy, fish, whatever you want to call, um, whatever you want to say, what is it about this stuff that will improve your cardiovascular endurance? That is what I want to know. Because everything about these foods will actually um, uh, negatively affect your cardiovascular endurance. The only thing you can possibly point to when it comes to animal products and improving performance is going to be amino acid profile, okay? But even then, you can have a more than adequate amino acid profile from a plant-based diet. I mean, you're talking about all the protein powders and things like that that are making it easier than ever before to get high quality amino acids from plant-based sources. Um, so this argument just doesn't make any sense. And um, the other thing, when it comes to uh, animal products, is you're talking about consuming things like saturated fats and cholesterol, um, especially if you consume red meat regularly, um, and most meats will have this stuff in it, okay? You can consume really lean cuts, but chances are you're still going to be consuming the, the rest of that palate as well, right? So when you're talking about consuming things like saturated fats and cholesterol, these things accumulate inside your arterial walls, and will negatively affect things like blood flow. So when you talk about consuming a whole foods plant-based diet, a plant-based diet that is high in things like nitrates that improve blood flow, you will have an improved capacity to deliver oxygen to the muscle and other necessary nutrients because your blood flow is improved. You know, it's one of the reasons why people tell you to consume things like beets and all this stuff 
for pumps and all this other uh, stuff. So because <laughs> plants have all these amazing things in them to help increase your performance. And so it makes zero sense to uh, speculate about Canelo Alvarez's vegan diet to say that that's the reason why his performance was the way it was in that fight. So here are some more logical reasons as to why Canelo was gassed out in that fight. Number one is the freaking weight gain. Like, <laughs> I don't understand how you can't see this and just draw two and two together. Um, if you're trying to gain weight for any kind of uh, athletic venture, right? Uh, what is one of the main things you are going to cut out from your training routine or uh, significantly decrease uh, is the amount of cardio that you do, okay? Because you want to be able to put on the weight. So you want to do less that is going to uh, deter you making that weight class. So obviously, that is one of the main reasons why Canelo was probably gassed there. You could even see it in the fight. He had love handles in that fight. One of you has seen Canelo with love handles. You know, he was definitely chubby. Well, chubbier, I mean, relatively speaking, right, for a boxer. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think that's the main reason he came in gas was because of the weight gain and decreasing cardio. Um, the other thing that is uh, very plausible as well is simply hydration. So uh, they, they are saying that Canelo did not put rehydration clauses in the contract for that fight with Dimitri. So if Canelo combined with the weight gain and not being properly hydrated before the fight, um, those two things will absolutely sap your energy and your endurance, especially when you're in such a high level bout. So it makes no sense to accu accuse Canelo's vegan diet as to why he was performing so badly. It makes way more sense as to these other reasons with the weight gain and potentially being improperly hydrated before the fight as to why he looks so bad. So, um, yes, let's just please stop with the whole nonsense about saying, oh, yo, it's Canelo's vegan diet that did him in. There's zero basis to make this claim. Zero. So, and if you want to bring any, please feel free. Uh, but, yeah, it's more likely due to the sheer weight gain and the rehydration uh, that was improperly managed as to why Canelo performed the way he did. So that's my take on that, guys. Let me know what you think, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.